Hey, Goldie Braun! Wanna get back here and explain that bombshell? Time is tight and your understanding unimportant. Can I shoot him? Come on, let me shoot him. Hey, we're in this together and Smart Money says it's gonna be a tough fight. Even in earnest, you underestimate. So, anything you can tell us about what we're up against will be a plus. Imagine ambivalent omnipotence. Drifting in darkness. Uh, speak in the dark. Such was my celestial solitude. Power without purpose, until uncovered by Raker. His crew were convalescent. Plagued by a pox, I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happens upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed. Symptom and solace. I worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, a dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps, pernicious priesting, feeble fools fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. Hang on. You can't name a craving. I named nothing. Clawed through my consciousness. Its deafening demand sated solely by suffering. And you listen to this thing? Its call is too great to ignore. I too heard this voice. It was pure putrefaction. Sown from the seed of my strength. My soul stone gone sour. I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. Translation, you let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? Sounds like you were careless. Deluded by desperation. My mind was melding with Magus. Did it work at least? In a savage sense. Split my soul in twain and cast us to the cosmos. So, no. For me, there was only darkness. I awoke half whole. Certain the stone shattered. How Magus merged with another, I know not. I think... I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Corel was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different, and it felt different. She took me back to the QZ and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivable. Her soul may be snared by the stone, chained to the child. I mean, we could get her back. Essence can be retained, but not restored. Our echo acts as anchor, manipulated by Magus to deceive the daughter. So, it's like Corel said. Nikki needs to accept her death. This feat is not so easily done. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, because I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So... Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. Why didn't you just say that? Step one, find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. 
The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive the severing. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find the kid? What are you... What's going... Oh, Flark. Oh, Flark. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. We need to go now. Why does that sound like you're not coming with us? These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Think. Just trust me. Don't go dying. I'm starting to actually get you. Papa Squat Golden Boy, you're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. Sorry, sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mic. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? He has assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on. You don't remember? Hey, Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Huh. Do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentis. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on. It was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved their lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. The rodents saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. Yeah, well, save them for the next time we all get a drink together, buddy. Hurry up, Quill. I ain't got all day. Did you just... You have closed the refrigerator door. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I thought I was the only one who ever bothered. I thought I was the only one. I observed the tree closing at once. Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. 
Groot agrees with you, Muscles. Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. I only hope our guest agrees to join this buttock-striking celebration. Moore, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her home world? Mantis will tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? And kinder. Hey, that nickname makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. Hey, Warlock, open up. This is my room, you know. And that would be my cassette cover. You pen this pithy poetry? It's not poetry, it's music. Hard rock. It's supposed to have guitars and bass and drums. Simplistic scriptures, as is its scribe. Okay, what's your deal, man? What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? My meager what? Your meager metal. We stand against an adversary unlike any before. Blinded by burning, hope-fueled hate. Magus, right, your evil twin. That's our adversary. Before such a blaze, still a stooge may steer. But your wide-eyed wonder is merely wit and moxie. You strut as an insecure cock uncertain of his stature. Does that mean what I think it means? This audacity acts as stilts on sand as the tide thralls you in. Leading must be wrought off the fullness of your yearning yoke. Will it be so? Yes. Absolutely. Wise words. Sure and measured. But beheld by my bemused misgivings, your demeanor differs distinctly in direction from my more willful ways. Maybe we can meet in the middle, then. Yes. An oath! Will you own an oath to operate with greater aggression? To give gravitas to gravid seasons of your soul, and struggle not to stand on destiny's icy flows? Sure, man. Whatever it takes. Then assert it! I swear I'll be a good leader. That'll be decisive, and... and uh, that I won't let Manus do whatever she wants. I stand partially reassured. What about you, Mr. Fancy Words? How do I know you won't see Raker and have a change of heart? Why would I weasel away? Didn't you used to be best buds with him? We were common company for a fleeting fallow, through which I witnessed the incommensurable extent of his sadness. He mourns his lost son. That's why he's doing all of this. The church, the matriarch? Because he wants to get his kid back. But that can't happen, right? Megas can't- No. Cannot. So? We can count on you? When you reunite with Raker, that man's gotta go down. Indubitably. So, how is he? Frustrating. It's like talking to Suzanne Harris at the summer dance all over again. Ain't that the Humi girl you tried to impress with your yo-yo skills? Yeah, and it went about as well as talking to Mr. Cape. What's a yo-yo? <sighs> My shoulders are sore. Yeah, Mantis is heavier than she looks. 
How is she connected with my soreness? <laughs> she rode your back all the way down the caves to Goldie's place. Really? Did you reach Cosmo? <clears throat> it may be up to us to stop the church in nowhere. You ready? I am Groot. He's worried about the mutt. Says it would be easier with his help. I didn't think Cosmo would let the church take over a station. But if they got the Cortex, then... He is but one canine against the army of the Converted. explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Hey, old traveler. Have you accepted the true of a divine promise? We have. My deceased wife and daughter are with me. Thank the matriarch for her gift. May the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land at the spaceport. Them bars and betting parlors and noodle joints. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. I assume it will be worse. Raker rallies regiments while we wait, whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, Gold. What the flark? Great cocoon boy thinks he's a butterfly now. He is a man of action. Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. So, final showdown against Raker. This time, you'll get him for good. I intend to. We're not leaving here without Nikki. Just so you know, I'll do everything I can to save your girl. I, I know it's important to you. Your kid sure got herself in a deep quill. Her mom died, man. If Warlock's telling the truth, that thing inside her is using Corel's death to manipulate her. I get it. Ain't gonna be easy getting her out of there, but I'll die trying. Gotta make the Flarkers pay for what they did to Nowhere. And Contraxia. And all the killing and converting and stuff. I am Groot. Groot wants you to know he'll do all he can to save your kid. You know what? I think I kinda understood that. I am Groot. Same here. Can't wait to whoop some robe Flarkers. You take care of the Milano, okay? Make sure the ship's still here when we come back. Ready, Drax? I am. My blades are as sharp as the rodent's tongue. Was that a metaphor? It was a simile. Just wanted to make sure you didn't have any lingering effects from the promise. I know the evil it conceals. Magus and the Church must be stopped. 